Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing uh, well. Hopefully you guys had a good trading day. Uh, my day got a little bit um, skewed. Um, first 20, 30 minutes of the day, uh, I got a phone call from my brother. Uh, my mom unfortunately had a little, kind of a slip and fall. Uh, it sounded a lot worse than it was. It would have been better if my mother actually picked up her cell phone to confirm. Uh, but I was in Brooklyn today, uh, so I missed pretty much the whole day. Um, so if you guys, she, she's all good now. Uh, it was a more scare than anything else. But again, somebody doesn't pick up the phone when you call them and you hear there's an accident, um, uh, there's a problem. So hopefully, uh, first of all, I want to thank you very much for all the emails, text messages. Uh, it's, it's, it's really, it's really uh, a wonderful thing. Thank you very much. I really appreciate all your blessings and your prayers and all that good stuff. Uh, so everything worked out. Um, so let's kind of get into the, to the market. Obviously, I wasn't here. Um, I wasn't here. Uh, I looked at some of the pivots uh, that I put into the channel before uh, I left. Some of them were really, really good, including that Tesla, including that stock that was a previous 400% the previous day. Um, Roku did pretty well. Looked like Roku did well. BYND uh, gave a push. But other than that, from the kind of outside looking in, and again, you don't need to uh, trade for the day just by going through charts, you can go through 15, 20 minutes of charts, you kind of get the same uh, feeling in your belly. Again, nothing materialistically has changed. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing uh, if you believe in the bull case. And if, if you remember, guys, and I was, I was in the room, uh, I was in the, web, in the webinar for the first like 20, 25 minutes. And what I remember was it looked like the market could have put in the type of action that I've been talking about for two, three days. Hey, by the way, they're just going to pull the plug out of everything all at once. And you're not even going to realize it's coming unless you're looking for it. And the bulls did a really, really good job. Um, outside of uh, outside of uh, Roku, which again, you, you could turn around and say, well, you know, you know the issue of million shares, uh, the stock was down six bucks today. But if, again, if, when you look at Roku, and there was a nice pivot that I, I put into the channel before I left. Um, if, if you look what happened, again, we talked about this, uh, we'll talk about the individual pivots in a second. But when you actually look at the macro view of Roku, considering they had such a big run, considering the news that came out issuing a million shares, they could have they could have slammed the stock. This 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 sell off could have been today 15, 20 points easily, and nobody would even blink. But again, it's a really good, strong testament to how strong this market is. And I, I tell you, the, the frustration to levels of the bears is it has to be very, very strong. Again, when you have a linear move. Everybody knows gravity is real. Hell, I've been talking about it for four or five days in a row now. But the bulls keep on pushing the market up, and it, which again proves two things. Number one, I don't need to be in the trade view for the pivot to work. Okay, that's the whole point of a pivot, which is price action after a confirmation of volume. Right, buyers and sellers, buyers cleaning, cleaning up sellers um, to go lower, and sellers cleaning up buyers to go higher. Um, and the most important thing is nobody needs to be in these trades. And number two is, again, the bull market is intact uh, until it's not. So you have to like what, the, what you're seeing. You really do. Uh, we're about, what, seven, eight days, uh, excuse me, nine days uh, from Thanksgiving. The question is, again, can the bulls hold up uh, for just another couple of weeks until we get into that really big uh, Christmas season? Because at, at some point, you're going to have to figure, right, rotation will come in into the names that people are going to physically do business with, right? The Amazons of the world. And again, you look at uh, this morning's report on uh, Kohl's, right? Not really a great, uh, not really a great report, right? Not exactly what you want to see uh, from retail. But when you look at, uh, you know, we looked at, at Walmart, what it's been doing, right? You know, taking taking the price action out of the way after earnings. And you look at Target, for example, right? And you look at Costco. Okay, they paint a totally different picture. There, retail is fine. The economy is fine. The recession talk. Okay, they can be talking and talking and talking again. Talking and happening are two different things. So, all in all, the bulls are doing an exceptional job. Okay, uh, do some names look like they're tired? Look, you can make a case for that, right? You can make a case. Uh, Apple looks a little tired, but is it really tired? Stock was down less than a dollar after this linear move. So, again, until the bulls 
demonstrate any other reason than buying the dip, then you have to assume the bull market is intact. But again, every single day, I go into the day saying to myself, I, I just don't want to make the mistake by buying that really, really high, high flyer five, six, seven days after the legitimate pivot. Again, we, we use the word, or at least I used to word, use the word like everybody else, use the word breakout all the time. Uh, and I, again, I think we had this conversation a couple of days ago in the live webinar. It's very rare that a stock actually breaks out, okay? Uh, there's a big difference between, for example, there's a big difference between Apple coming out of a, a range, breaking out of a range, that's a breakout. Up here, up here, up here, up here, up here, up here. This is all follow through. This is all continuation of momentum. So a lot of traders will use the word breakout and you know they'll buy the stock six, seven dollars above the breakout level and say, well, the breakout failed. No, the breakout didn't fail. The breakout happened two weeks ago. What you're doing is you are continuing pushing the, the limits of this breakout, of the six, seven day uh, breakout, and you're hoping to God that it continues. So it's a very, very different case between breakout and continu continuation of momentum. That's why I always talk about, uh, especially in the live webinar in morning strategy, for a stock that's up really aggressively on the, the previous day, you don't want to buy it into strength. You want to buy it into that rising support. And that's exactly what we've seen uh, in the last couple of days. For example, like a stock like uh, LK that we had a really you know, pretty damn good trade uh, from, from yesterday's, from the, from the bottom of the range. You can see the 60-minute range yesterday, right? And this is my, kind of my point. What you want to do on momentum aggressive stocks when they have a big, big move, you want to buy them into a, a light volume flush, wash out in the morning, they hold support and they should rally. Um, and when you look at the market today, right? When you look at the tape today, just by looking at charts, you still see the strong names are still strong, right? The strong names are still strong, uh, you know, like, you know, for example, like the Teslas, and we'll talk about the individual pivot in a second. Uh, that wasn't even here for it. But again, again, what's great about pivots, again, nobody needs to hold your hand. And I've been saying this, the difference between an alert, okay, which is the most brainless, mindless, stupid thing you could possibly think of. And again, it's artificial insemination of some random avatar and say, hey, guys, you got to buy the stock. It's about to go higher. Millions of people jump into the trade. The stock goes up 10 cents. Everybody's, you know, half, half the people are celebrating. Half the people are, they want to slice their own throats. So the stock went down 30 cents. Again, there's a difference between alert and the difference between price action. Price action is confirmed on supply and demand in a pivot, and there's a directional bias with institutional participation or, quote unquote, the algo effect, uh, what makes these trades work very, very uh, important. So let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about it, guys. Uh, these are the pivots. I mean, these are the only pivots I put in the room today uh, before I left. And again, uh, the whole thing in this planet for me, the whole thing in this planet for me is all about family. I don't care if it's a distant aunt. Okay, maybe, maybe I do. Uh, but the point is, again, you get a phone call, hey, mom's in trouble, you gotta be there for mom. Um, so let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about this. Um, so check this out. I actually put on a couple of trades today. Uh, I actually did a couple of trades today. Um, I bought the 305 break on Netflix. Um, I and, and I put this into the Twitter feed uh, because I knew it had to build the 305, 50, 306. When I put on the trade, I forgot it was going to stop at 305, 50. Why did, I, why did I forget it stopped? Look at it right here. If you look at the linear regression line, okay, and again, this is why stocks don't stop randomly, okay, they stop at supply. I forgot it was there, okay, I forgot it was there. So once it, it stalled out, I saw the futures start tanking. Uh, I sold the stock, uh, I broke even to a little bit of slippage to the downside on this thing. And then I bought the remount. This is how I knew. Uh, stocks were a little bit weaker this morning. There was a potential for a bigger flush. So I bought the remount. Okay, I bought the remount on Netflix. What was it? Somewhere around where the hell was it? It was around 302, and it just couldn't go right. I think it rallied like 20, 30 cents, and they just couldn't build. They couldn't build. They couldn't build. And I sold. I sold it flat, and that's kind of when I had to what had to leave. Um, and the funny thing is, if I didn't sell it, if, you, if you're in the hope to God category, the damn thing went all the way down to uh, 298.50. So again, we, we're not in the praying business. We're not looking for to uh, to guess where the controlling where the closing price is. It's to win your interval. And if you can't get a good solid confirmation, buyers cleaning up sellers, sellers cleaning up buyers, depending which way you're looking at the at the trade, you have to get out. Okay, you can always re re enter the trade and get more solid confirmation, higher and lower prices. So it's very very important not to uh, be the prey, be the predator, and that's a very very important way to look uh, at the market. So that was that. Um, obviously, Nvidia never. And this is a little a little. You know, I really really thought that. Um, the video was going to go right to green today. Never did. I mean, there was no there was no trade involved, but it was very very odd that uh, Nvidia, you know, really just completely 
engulfed the previous day's price action and never went green today. Very, very odd. Uh, for, for, I got a lot of emails, guys. Congratulations. Again, here's the pivots. I don't need to be in the trade with you. I wasn't even here. Okay, that's the whole point of pivots. They don't care which way they confirm. They're going to go up or they're going to go down. So 354 upside, uh, 346 downside. Here was the pivot on Tesla. Again, guys, congratulations for you guys who caught this Tesla pivot. Uh, here's the 60 minute view, right? Here's the 60 minute view on Tesla. Let me just show you where the, uh, let me show you where the 354 was. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is my chart all skewed? I feel like my chart's a little bit skewed here. Uh, 354, here we go. So 354 was the top here, right? You can see it, 353.84. The top here was uh, 353.90. So when it, once it got above this 354 level, just really, really got aggressive and traded up to 360. Again, big move, really, really good move. Congratulations, guys, who took that. Uh, Facebook, yeah, Facebook actually put in a move to 200. And uh, again, uh, if you look at my comments, uh, 198.70 needs to build. Uh, here was Facebook, right? Here was Facebook. Here was the 198.50, uh, 198.70, and went right to 200 once supply. And if you look at um, if you look at uh, my comments, right? If you look at my comments, I go, it's flying, but right here it is, right at supply. Uh, Facebook at supply now makes some sales. That was literally at the top of the range. So good job for all you guys who caught that as well. I think, I think it still probably goes higher. Um, nothing on Boeing never reclaimed, not even close to 76. Uh, shop never reclaimed 76. I don't know if anybody caught, I know, I know, um, I know uh, Sam caught this trade because he, 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 he emailed me, not emailed me. He, um, he, uh, on, on the private feed, he, um, uh, I guess tweet, tweeted me. KRTX, red to green for experienced traders only. 100, obviously, that's going to be a big number. Uh, use that as a guide. Uh, if you caught this trade, I mean, God bless. I mean, what are you going to say? I mean, what are you, you going to say? Here's the 100, right? Here's the 100. And the stock went to apparently 150. Okay. If you caught this trade, you're a better human being than I am. God bless. So what are you going to say? 50% move. On $100 stock. That's absolutely bananas. Uh, so anyway, guys, if you caught that, great job. Uh, Loku never came through. Uh, I just saw that. Uh, C's never went through. BLMN, I didn't see it. 2360, 2370. Let me see BLMN. Uh, 2360, 2370. No, never built. Never built. Trade up to 2376. Never confirmed the action. Um, Roku, oh yeah, Roku, yeah, Roku, so check this out. So Roku, 158.80, uh, 159 to the upside, 153 support if it builds below, it can flush. Uh, so here was Roku, right? Here was Roku and here was the flush. Uh, here was the really big flush. Here was the 153 was the bottom of the range, right? Rising to the bottom of the range. And once it took out 143, if you notice, I tweeted out, punch a chance, this thing gets to 148. Uh, reason why I talked about 148, 147.51, it was the lows. Uh, 148 was the rising five-day moving average. So if you got it, great job uh, there as well. And Facebook flying. Oh, Beyond. You know, if you guys caught Beyond, nice, nice trade. Not, nothing wrong with that. Uh, yesterday finally closed. Uh, it finally closed. Um, what did it close? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yesterday I lost the dollar on Beyond. Uh, today... Uh, it broke below, it looks like it broke below 78 for builds below, it can crack. Uh, again, it's going to go lower. It looks like they're just going to drift it lower. Um, so we talked about the 78 level. Here was the 78. It broke, uh, went down to 76.50. I, I still think probably towards the end of the week, it's going to test this uh, you know, 73.85 level. So if you guys got the trade, good job there uh, as well. And uh, Square never got there. I saw that it went to 65.14. I actually like it to the upside tomorrow. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, Netflix only went down a half a buck. I saw that and spiked right back up. I actually like it back to the long side tomorrow. Uh, and that's it. That's it. This is basically, uh, this is basically what it was, uh, before some of these things, uh, triggered. So if you, if you got it, good job. If you didn't, uh, whatever it is, what it is it's part of trading, uh, tomorrow I will be back. I am, um, totally, uh, totally good. Everything's good in my life. Uh, my mom's good. She's had a little bit of scare, so that's great. Uh, so let me give you guys some ideas uh, for tomorrow. Okay, let me give you guys some ideas, some non-beta ideas uh, for tomorrow. And then all the beta stuff we will talk about uh, for tomorrow's session. So yeah, let's let's talk about some ideas. Uh, ALVR, um, A, is it AL or AVLR? Sorry, AVLR uh, looks pretty good. It's a bottom channel. That's what you want to see. You want to try to find as much value as possible 
uh, in the market when it goes linear. Uh, again, you could tell here, first close over supply. Uh, AVOR, all it needs to do is reclaim. Starts building at 79 area. You could get a big move, so keep an eye on that. Uh, workday, you know, workday, uh, you know, it looks okay, right? It looks okay. I kind of like it. Um, it stopped right on the 50-day moving average. High here is 176.66. Uh, Today's high is 176. 167.655. If it starts reclaiming 168, right? Reclaim 168, you could get a move to 69 and maybe 171 for a scalp. So keep an eye on that. Uh, CDLX looks pretty good as well. Broke out of a five day uh, move, a consolidation after the big run up. Uh, if it starts building above, you know, 59, 70, 60, you could get another move up. So keep an eye on that as well. And the uh, last one, non-beta, let me give you guys uh, SGRY. Looks pretty good. SGRY, uh, $12 stock for you guys who don't trade beta. Uh, if it starts reclaiming, you know, 12 20 or so, uh, keep an eye on it. It could get a good run there as well. So, guys, have a great night, everybody. I appreciate all uh, the support, all the concern, all the emails and texts. It really means a lot. Uh, again, when you have good people in your life, uh, everything else becomes a lot easier. Guys, God bless. Thank you very much. I'll Congratulations see you for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.